Welcome to the Viterbi Voices 360 degree video tour series. If you're on your phone, be sure to swipe around with your finger to see the space. If you're on your computer, click around with your cursor. Or if you have one, put on a virtual reality headset or a Google Cardboard headset to look around with your eyes. Enjoy! Okay, you can see we have a lot of things going on in here. Right now we're going through Traverse, uh, dual Traverse stations. All these devices are being used to learn how to measure uh, air pressure uh, in a wind tunnel or a simulated uh, uh, jet pressure. Um, and we do lots of different simulations to where we, we learn how to run this electronic equipment and then we learn how to read what it's doing and then we transfer that into moving mechanical parts and doing other things with this electronic equipment. Follow me, we have a big wind tunnel back here. Oh my god. So this is the lab that you guys see right now that you're looking at, if you look straight in front of me is a turbulent jet lab, so we have to use LabVIEW to like make the actual traverses move. It's really fun. It's a very pretty uh, graph you get from the data. And then when we, since we had a little rain, we keep them this protected. So after we learn how to use the traverses and learn how to read up air pressure, then we can actually bring that uh, over here to our wind tunnel, mm -hmm. and we can do the same type of simulation but under a more controlled situation and we can get a lot more valuable information with with uh, wings uh, for airplanes simulated wings um, truck models car models um, animals uh, we can actually simulate what they are doing in flight or in the water um, so we get a lot of use out of this wind tunnel that's cool also for one of our labs that we had at the end of junior year too right we used we did like tests with wings yes, in the wind yes. tunnel. And you start in the junior year as mm -hmm. far as learning how to actually utilize the equipment. And then and then, <laughs> then you get to use this in your senior design projects if your project requires this. Right. And come on back here. This is where we do all of our classwork. Um, just been recently remodeled. Um, we have a couple of screens up here. Uh, they, um, they will actually you can see our, our whiteboards are, are full of uh, electronic this engineer, is bringing back engineering, so many engineering uh, uh, schematics. Yeah. schematics. There you go. This is um, what a lab view schematic looks like. If you guys look, I don't know, to my, what is this? Left, right, to my right. right. There we go. Yes, it's a mess. So you'll see that this looks like the Big Bang Theory in here. Just a little bit. Um, and this is real. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does stuff. All right, coming in through here as we are remodeling our stock room. Excuse uh, a little bit of the mess, but this is a new stock room and we're getting everything in place. Everything we need in both sides, in the junior and the senior side. Uh, this is where our supplies are, our electronics, our tools. Um, uh, yeah, and it's and it's under it's being fixed right now. We're we're re remodeling. This already looks a lot better than last year. Last year was rough. Okay, so now we're walking into the senior design part of lab. So this is every senior has to take senior design, and this is where we pretty much live for the first semester of our year. When and this, we're is, what, doing this, this is where you meet me. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm I'm the uh, technician up here that helps you build your projects. Once you've decided what you want to build for your senior design, then you will consult with the professors and then myself, and we'll decide you now how we can help you. Um, but we want you to be hands on as much as possible. We put you through a safety training course. We teach you how to use that drill press. We have a saw back here and a sander. Um, we teach you how to use, these are just basic equipment for on this side. We teach you how to use this uh, equipment safely um, to build your dreams <laughs> and to change the world. To change the world. Uh, so, the so follow me, we have a 3D printer over here. We have a few of these. Um, every engineering shop has to have 3D printers. Um, and again, we have supplies in every corner of this shop. So right. it looks a little messy, but we have a lot of supplies. So real quick, the 3D printer is to my left, and then in front of me is the, oh. the bandsaw the band and the sander. And the sander, and then and another drill press. If you turn right a little bit, you'll see that's the laser cutter back there. Laser right? cutter is in the back, yes. Cool. We use the laser cutter a lot for ours because we were making fins out of some type of plastic. So okay. there's a lot of lasers. 
to yes. be used? Um, laser cutter and the 3D printer are great tools to um, prove a, a point of um, concept. Right. Um, they're not always the best idea um, materials to actually um, do your whole uh, project out of. So it's to prove that things work and then we actually will come over to the machine shop side and we will make these projects out of metal, out of plastics, out of things that are going to withstand the testings that the students are going to be putting under. So cool. come on over and we'll, we'll look at my machine shop. Again, this is a machine shop. Um, it's a little messy, but we're very busy in this shop at all times. At the, at the moment, I am machining parts for the SAE Formula One race team. Um, I help support the, the race team, the, the human-powered vehicle team, um, the aero design team, the, the rocket club. Any, any of the uh, aerospace and mechanical engineering clubs I try to support uh, as far as having, uh, making mechanical parts for them, uh, metal parts that they don't have access to the equipment. So they'll come up here and we help support them. Um, we build, mm, this is a, actually, this is a CNC lathe, uh, a manual lathe, a manual lathe. To the right of me, that's the lathe that he's talking about. Okay, so about. this is yeah. a manual lathe and I'm, right now I'm making a bunch of little parts right here for the race team. Um, and, and these will go on uh, the A-arms. We have a manual mill over here, That's straight like, in front of you. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is the easiest machine for me to teach you how to run. It, it's almost like the, the traverses that are over on the other side of the uh, mech op. Um, so it's just a little bit bigger. Um, and it goes in the X and Y axis. And we cut a lot of, this is a very simple machine to run. So mm -hmm. I like training the students on this machine. We have over here on your left um, a CNC mill. It's a little bit more advanced than this mill. We can actually run it under computerized control. So this is a, a CNC is computerized numerical control machine. Um, we can put in we can put in codes and numbers and create circle patterns and all sorts of radiuses, angles, and profiles. Uh, it's much easier to do using numbers in the computerized control rather than manually. Um, so, so basically we're set up here to almost make anything here, um, as long as it's within the uh, framework of our machines. Right. Um, so this is, and then we have, we have saws, we have drill presses, um, and all of, the, all of the tools that we need to machine all these parts for the teams. And for 441 senior design, right. I, I, I can't leave that out. <laughs> My main job is actually to support uh, the senior design. It's just, it's so much fun helping all these other engineering um, teams. Um, they need our support as well. So um, this is what we do up here. Cool, awesome. Well, I think, I think that's it. All right. Thank you so much no for the problem. tour and that's, everything. I love doing tours, <laughs> so I, I don't know. I get a little bit mixed up and ahead of myself, but okay. you should be able to filter some of that cool. out. Awesome, thanks for um, joining us and bye bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Be sure to check out our website, turvyvoices.usc.edu for more. Check out some more videos in the series and follow us on our social media channels. Bye for now.